All right, um, we have not finalized our roster yet. Obviously, uh, we have till Thursday morning, but um, with Dylan Carlson's injury yesterday, something has to happen. So we will likely add Victor Scott, the second. And, um, you know, it's obviously unfortunate for DC. He had a really good camp, um, was swinging about well. And, uh, you know, yesterday with that collision, he ended up uh, spraining his uh, AC joint on his left shoulder. And um, you know, that's gonna obviously take some time before he can get himself back. So just have to be patient. Uh, you know, you think about sort of the stress of our outfield that's been under, not having Tommy Edmond, not having Newt Barr, and now losing DC. It's, uh, it's gonna be challenged, but you know, the one thing we know about uh, Victor Scott is he's a talented defender. Um, and, and certainly will uh, will help our outfield in, in that regard. John, how much do you hate this for how well Dylan has played, worked all off season to, to get back to this point? How much do you hate it for him? Yeah, I just imagine it's 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 you know uber frustrating for him and, and, and really the club. But you, you know, you think about the off season he had, what he was uh, tasked to do, and he showed up in camp and. and you know, had really righted his ship and, and had, had positioned himself well for this upcoming season. So this is certainly disappointing, but you have to remind yourself it's a, it's a long season, 162 games, and um, you know at some point he will be back contributing to us. Well, if uh, Victor's joining the team, usually you say that he's here to play with a young player like that. Is that how you see this? That I do. Be your center fielder? Yeah, I do. Um, you know, you obviously don't want to bring somebody up have to add someone to the roster spot, especially when you're not even in the protection year. Mm -hmm. So uh, given that we're fast forwarding this, then he'll get a lot of opportunities to be playing in the, in the beginning part of this season. John, are they telling you with an AC joint sprain, is that a matter of weeks or is that a matter of months? Um, I think it really will depend on how he feels over the next few days. Um, um, for anybody that's ever experienced the AC joint, it can be very uncomfortable. Um, so uh, it's not uncommon to then have that joint injected and to try to calm it down. So we'll just see uh, what happens over the next uh, 48 to 72 hours. But he will return back to St. Louis and be uh, reevaluated by Dr. Pilota. So is Tommy's injury long term enough at this point that that's the roster move? Uh, I don't think so. Um, we've gotten encouraging news on him of, of late. So I do not think putting him on the 60 would make sense. Um, obviously, the Lars swung the bat yesterday and the day and the day after soft toss. What are you hearing about his progress? Uh, hearing a lot of good news there too. So uh, yesterday was a really encouraging day for, for Lars, and uh, hopefully that continues and he can progress himself back into maybe being on a rehab when uh, uh, Memphis opens, not this weekend, but maybe some point next week. You were on TV during the breakout game.